Hi, this is Lynn McCool, and this is an overview of week 12. So in this week, you're going to be conducting a peer review of your assignment six, and the activities this week all have to do with either creating assignment six or with uh, conducting the peer review. And I have a separate screencast in which I explain how to go about doing the peer review. Um, you'll be doing it as a team, and you'll be collaborating together assessing the documents of the different teams. So check out that other video. It will tell you how to do that. You can also see that I did just a little bit of rearranging on the Blackboard course site here. That's because I don't know about you, but I got tired of scrolling clear to the bottom to try to find the major assignments folder and also the Learn Smart folder. So I brought those to the top and then directly underneath those is the next week's folder. So for this week, your course content includes uh, reading two different internet sources. You don't really have a chapter in your book this week, but instead I have um, this source which is a strategies for peer reviewing and team writing. And that's a really good, good resource. It just talks about a, a way to, to work as a team and put together an effective peer review of another team's written document. And then the second one, Independent Peer Review Helps Assure Quality, Value, and Objectivity. This is just another piece to give you a little bit of a perspective that actually peer review or review of documents actually occurs in the workplace. And so it's not just something that we do in academia, but it is actually something that happens in the workplace because obviously a document that goes out to a set of customers or to industry or to some place where um, a mistake in the document could cause injury or harm to those who are working in that industry is a very dangerous and serious thing. And so um, the documents then have to be reviewed very carefully so that they do not have any errors in them and so that they state exactly clearly what it is that is trying to be communicated. So take a look at that source. It just gives you a little perspective of how peer review would work if you were in business and industry. I have two screencasts and again both of these directly relate to what you're doing this week. So this first one is how to conduct a peer review in Cybox. So you're going to actually upload your your first version of the assignment 6 to Cybox. So you need to do that, put that version in a PDF form. Even if you're working on it in Google Docs when you get ready to load it to Cybox um, save it first as a PDF and then load it up there. And uh, the, those instructions will walk you through, show you how to do that. Um, then there is this second screencast, which is short, but um, it gives you the details and also examples of the different moves that happen in the three major sections of the technical description. And so you'll definitely want to take a look at that and make sure that your technical description is thorough and includes everything that it should. You do have Learn Smart this week. You do not have a discussion board this week. The Cybox peer review, which is rather extensive, takes the place of this. So we don't have a, a second discussion board. You're going to be doing all your discussing with um, the peer review. And your initial drafts for peer review, so your assignment six initial drafts for peer review are due uploaded to Cybox no later than Friday at 11.59 p.m. And there's a reason for that. So this is a change for, um, for some of you. For some of you, this is normal where you always upload by Friday night, but for some of you, this is a change. And there's a reason why I'm having you do that, and I'll explain it in just a minute. So Friday by 11.59 p.m. You can access the Cybox folder here, or you should have received a link from me in your email, and you could get to it from there. But remember, once you get to Cybox, you have to actually log in in order to be able to use all the features inside of it. Okay, the reason why your peer review is due uploaded to Cybox Friday night is so that over the weekend, you have time as a team to conduct the peer reviews because the completed peer reviews are due Tuesday by the end of the day. Okay, so 11-17 Tuesday, the end of the day, all peer reviews are due. So that's why you have to get your um, draft loaded to Cybox by Friday 
so that there's time over the weekend to work on the peer reviews, get those done, and put those up on Tuesday. Then your assignment six is not due week 12, but it is due week 13. And again, there is a date and time change for some of you. So Friday at 6 p.m., Friday at 6 p.m. is when this is due. And the reason why the change, again, it's because of Thanksgiving break. So those assignments should be uploaded before you leave on break. So I don't want you taking them home over break. I don't want you working on them over break. I want you to take a break on break. So um, the assignment is due by 6 p.m. on Friday um, before you leave on Thanksgiving break. Now, if you want to upload it before 6 p.m. on Friday, obviously you're welcome to do that. You can upload it at any point when you feel like it's ready um, for me to, to grade, but the cutoff is 6 p.m. on Friday. Okay, so that gives you a, a basic overview. Obviously, if you click inside this folder, it will take you to um, the two screencasts, the one on how to use Cybox to do the peer reviews and the other one on the details and examples of tech descriptions. If you have questions, please let me know. And um, I'm looking forward to reading your peer reviews of each other's assignment six and looking forward to looking at the the assignment six myself to see how how and what people did with um, the proposal and how they were able to create a technical description. If you have questions, please contact me. Thanks.